Uh, Madam Speaker, we please call the House to order. <coughs> the House will come to order. In the absence of clergy, let us pause for a moment of silence. Visitors are invited to join members in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A quorum being present, the clerk will read the journal of Wednesday, June 14th. Mr. Tokas. Uh, yes, Madam Speaker, I move to dispense with any further reading of the journal of Wednesday, June 14th, and that the same stand approved. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Tokas. Yes, uh, Madam Speaker, my colleagues, uh, if I can have the members' attention. Uh, we have a lot of work to do in uh, what I hope will be a short period of time, and so the members' uh, cooperation is certainly going to be needed, uh, particularly when we consent uh, some lengthy calendars. Madam Speaker, the members should have on their desks the A and B calendar. I move to advance those calendars. The A and B calendars are advanced. Uh, yes, Madam Speaker, it's our intention to, uh, off the main calendar, first take up resolutions on page three, and then we will go to the B calendar. We'll do that to bill agenda. Uh, the B calendar. And then, Madam Speaker, uh, as I had indicated, we will have a lengthy consent on the A calendar. It's 130 bills. Uh, they're all new. We haven't seen them before. We need to spend some time uh, doing that work this afternoon so the members remaining in and around the chamber and voting on bills uh, would be extremely important to that process. So, uh, Madam Speaker, with that as a general outline, if members do have any introductions or you may have housekeeping, this would be the appropriate time. Yes, we have introductions. Mr. T Mr. Tonko. <laughs> Madam Speaker, um, I rise for the purpose of an introduction. Uh, it's always a pleasure to welcome constituents. In this case, it's a double pleasure because we have a father-daughter team that has come to visit us. Um, we have David Frank seated behind me to my immediate left. He uh, has worked with DC 37, uh, Madam Speaker. And he's accompanied by his uh, wonderful little daughter, who's six years old. Emily is a student at Page School in Schenectady. So I would ask, Madam Speaker, that you welcome David Frank and Emily Frank to the uh, chamber today and afford, accord them the uh, usual uh, greetings of the House. On behalf of Mr. Tonko, the Speaker, and all the members, we want to welcome the Braun family to the chamber today. We extend the privileges of the floor, and we hope you enjoy our proceedings. And I must tell you, that's a very pretty little dress you have on. <laughs> Mr. Townsend. Thank you, Madam Speaker. If I may uh, interrupt the proceedings for an introduction of a sixth grade class that we have here from the Hughes Elementary School in New Hartford, New York, in the back of the chamber. They are in Albany today, and they were at the museum, and they just took a chance that uh, they were going to come over and see what the chamber looked like, and they called uh, Mrs. Estito's office, and she said, come on, we're going to the session. So, uh, the uh, students, along with their parents, uh, Cindy Reed and Lenora Murad, Charlene Brockley, Sharon Calagero, Bernadette Romano, and Joe and Chris Kelsey are here and uh, having the opportunity to see the uh, chamber in session. And if you would extend them the courtesies and, and call on Mr. Steedo, please. I'd be happy to. Mr. Steedo on the same issue. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I just want to join Mr. Townsend. I have some personal friends and family um, with the group, and I would like to join in recognizing them and welcoming them all um, to the chamber. Judge Bernie Romano is with them as a mother today, and I want you to um, extend the cordialities and certainly welcome our young children who are uh, waiting for the last day of school to come, and I guess this is a great way to uh, end the school year. And I want to add one thing that I hope they all read something this summer, Madam Speaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
I agree. <laughs> On behalf of Mr. Townsend, Ms. Destito, the speaker, and all the members, we want to welcome this sixth grade class to the chamber today. We want to also welcome parents and uh, teachers. We extend the privileges of the floor and hope you enjoy our proceedings. Thank you for being with us. We have some housekeeping on a motion by Mr. Canistrari, page 20, calendar 48. Bill number 5622A, amendments are received and adopted. On behalf of Mr. Granis, bill number 11401, assembly bill recalled from the Senate. The clerk will read the title of the bill. An act to amend the insurance law. Motion to reconsider the vote by which the bill passed the House. The clerk will record the vote. Announce the results. Ayes 134, no zero. The bill is before the House and the amendments are received and adopted. Uh, on the main calendar, page three, we start with the resolutions. Assembly 2324, Mr. Simberwitz. Legislative resolution memorializing the governor to proclaim October 15, 2006 as Coats for Kids Day. On the resolution, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. Assembly 2325, Mr. Engelbright. Legislative resolution commemorating September 10 through 16, 2006 as Lifelong Learning Week. On the resolution, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, the, re the resolution is adopted. Resolution 2326, Ms. Pfeffer. Legislative resolution memorializing the governor to proclaim July 31 through August 7, 2006 as Court Reporters Week. On the resolution, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. We now go to the B calendar on consent. Assembly 8979B, Rules 885, Mr. Tonko, an act to amend the public service law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 11449A, Rules 886, Ms. Destito, an act to amend the public officer's law. On a motion by Ms. Destito, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Uh, Madam Speaker, this is our first vote of the day. We do need all members uh, who are in and around the chamber to make sure they do come to the chamber to cast their vote. Uh, we do need your help in doing this to expedite today's work.
quite safe, but I'm too afraid to get Yeah. I would stand so fast. Because <laughs> I always do something. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 133, no zero. The bill is passed. Mr. Toth. Yeah, yes, Madam Speaker, uh, we're joined by a group of students in the uh, gallery above you. <clears throat> they are uh, the guests of Ms. Lepardo. Uh, they're students from the Angie McGinnis School in Endicott. Uh, the students, teachers, and uh, parents and chaperones have joined us today. And if you would greet them, uh, uh, they're all in their uh, orange uh, DOT garb. Uh, so, Madam Speaker, if you would greet them uh, on behalf of Ms. Lepardo, it would certainly be appreciated. On behalf of Mr. Ms. Lepardo, Mr. Tokaz, the Speaker, and all the members, we want to welcome this wonderful group of young people from Endicott to the chamber today. We extend the privileges of the floor and hope you enjoy our proceedings. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Madam Speaker, we'll go back to the first bill that was laid aside uh, on debate. Yes, page to three, calendar B, rules report 885, clerk will read. Assembly 8979B, rules 885, Mr. Tonko, an act to amend the public service law. An explanation is requested. And I would ask you to lower voices in here. We're getting ready to debate a bill. Thank you. Mr. Madam, Tonko. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, this bill would require that the PSC um, implement a schedule of financial pen penalties and establish standards uh, for telecommunications providers uh, in the state of New York, uh, specifically requiring these groups to meet a certain service quality standard. Mr. Ignizio. Will the sponsor yield for a few questions? Will yes, you yield, Madam. Mr. Tonko? Yes, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Paul. Um, does this bill apply to the VoIP uh, technology or technology outside, such as cable or cell, uh, cell phone service? Yes, it does. It would apply to um, all landline phones, whether they're cable service provided or the uh, more traditional wire services. It's, um, it's my understanding that the FCC is the regulator behind VoIP and the uh, uh, cable service, how would this apply? No, co Congress has never uh, provided uh, the regulations or the, uh, uh, the statute that would apply to these groups. The preemption that, w that has been suggested just did not um, occur. It did not come into being. Okay. Um, despite, if this bill does not pass, does the Public Service Commission still have authority to maintain proper service from Verizon? Well, they do have authority to uh, maintain standards, but if we look at the track record that dates back to uh, 2002, uh, what they did was uh, suggest by their very actions that um, in light of enhanced competition in the state of New York in the telecommunications industry, that there was no longer a... a, a, a a requirement to have heavy-handed penalties uh, imposed for failure. And I think their own data uh, suggests that uh, the service standard has slipped uh, as they've relieved uh, the system of those penalties and standards. Okay. Um, Mr. Tonko, do you believe this imposes an unfair burden onto uh, the landline companies such as Verizon, such as Prince? No, I think what it is is standardized. It makes certain that everyone who's providing this service in the state is covered by the same standards and is subjected to the same penalties. And it's also important to note that these standards are critically important because they do affect a customer's regular personal and business calls. And in addition, perhaps more importantly, would address their access to 9-11 emergency services. And so having a set of standards, having those standards, standards maintained and implemented, and having the added benefit of penalties 
to ensure that the quality of service is is at a level that is required, especially as it uh, applies to emergency situations, is indeed a very important standard. Thank you, Mr. Tonka. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Madam Speaker, on the bill. On the bill. Uh, as, as I understand it, this bill does not apply uh, to voice over internet protocol uh, as well as cell phones, which basically, as we all know, is the technology which the consumers are going to more so uh, than landlines nowadays, especially those from, from my generation who are choosing not to get a landline at all. Um, they're utilizing their cell phones, they're utilizing the internet for their phone service to save rates. Um, and what we're doing here is I think we're increasing the situation whereby Verizon is going to hemorrhage customers and thereby hemorrhage uh, uh, money and leave this state altogether and or not provide landline service. I think it's a disadvantage to, to us, uh, the, the citizenry, citizenry of New York, and I encourage my colleagues to cast a no vote. Thank you very much. Read the last section. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. McAllis. Thank you, Madam, <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Speaker. Would the sponsor yield for a couple of questions? You yield. Speaker. I, I don't want to sound like Pete and repeat, but Paul, uh, before, before these heightened standards were, were in place, and even now after they've been taken out of place, there are still standards at which phone companies have to, have to comply with. It's just that Verizon actually had heightened standards because they had such a monopoly in New York. Is, am I correct well, to say? I, I think you're right in suggesting that there were standards, but I think what was important that in the 11 years of policy of assessing penalties, there was quite a bill uh, associated with the penalties that were levied, well over 200 million in penalties. In fact, 70 million over the period just before uh, undoing those penalties from 2002 to 2005. That was the case for penalties assessed against Verizon. So I think what, what the 11-year track history taught us was that these standards were in place, they were not met, uh, that there was a substandard service, and that this at least kept the system functioning to a more effective level, efficient level, and I think that's what we want to see here. Uh, to submit to the PSC's logic that competition alone, merely competition, will drive the outcome, obviously shows that uh, it hasn't, that there has been an increased decline in service, uh, if you chart it through the, uh, the, uh, this millennium from 2000 through 2005, you'll see that it has worsened. So I think that the call for standards, the call for proceeding to establish, to promulgate those standards and penalties um, is, in fact, uh, a worthy one. Okay, but am I, am I correct in saying that until a couple years ago when these heightened standards that Verizon had Actually, the PSC had two levels of standards for service. They had one level for everybody else, and then they had a, a heightened level for Verizon, at which they, simply because of the, the number of customers they had and the monopoly that they had in the state of New York, they wanted to make sure that they had uh, a heightened level of standard. And, uh, and I believe a couple of years ago, they took that heightened level of standard off and put Verizon at the same level as everybody else does. Well, what we're asking that through this proceeding, what be done is the PSC determine how the standards be best developed, how they be applied, and that what the and to develop the associated penalties. I think what we have here is a requirement for them to go through that exact exercise based on their their experiences as a regulating agency with the utilities involved. And I think that will guide them in this process, but it will be a statement from the legislature that this indeed is an exercise that is worthy and needs to be done in order to provide, again, for quality services for customers with their traditional business and personal calls, and more importantly, I'll repeat myself, for the, uh, the need for those services at the time of an emergency with 9-11 access. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Tonker. Madam Speaker, on the bill. Um, on the bill. You know, a lot of mention has been made about Verizon, but those of us that represent rural parts of New York State, um, I've had memos and communications from uh, Empire and, and another smaller uh, company in Addison, New York, and 
what they're what they're saying is that they already are under standards. At one time, Verizon was under an enhanced standard, and uh, as a result of that, when they didn't meet those standards, the fines were huge. Um, I don't know whether I, I know at one time this bill instituted those high standards back in again, but did it for all phone companies. And I know right now the small phone companies in rural parts of the state are really concerned about this piece of legislation because they, they feel that it's going to do nothing but heighten the standards that they're already working under and, and doing fairly well under. So um, uh, I'll encourage my colleagues to carefully look at this bill and give a, a no vote of consideration. Thank you. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 113, nays 14. The bill is passed. Yes, Madam Speaker, uh, we have previously, I know you have some housekeeping, and we had previously advanced the A calendar. Once you complete your housekeeping, Madam Speaker, we are going to begin a lengthy consent on the A calendar. We do need members to remain in and around the chamber. Bill number 7461A, on behalf of Mr. Kusick, Assembly Bill recalled from the Senate. Clerk will read the title of the bill. An act to amend the environmental conservation law. A motion to reconsider the vote by which the bill passed the House. The clerk will record the vote. Announce the results. Ayes 135, nay 0. The bill is before the House and the amendments are received and adopted. Mr. Conti for an introduction. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for allowing me to interrupt the proceedings. On uh, behalf of uh, Assemblyman uh, Jim Bacallus from the 136th AD, uh, who was himself the uh, 
is a former mayor of Corning. We have with us uh, the current mayor of Corning, uh, Frank Coco. If you can, uh, on behalf of Mr. Bacallis and all the members, uh, welcome him to the chambers. I'd be greatly appreciative. I'd be happy to. On behalf of Mr. Bacallis, On behalf of Mr. Bacallus, Mr. Conte, the speaker, and all the members, we want to welcome you, Mayor, to the chamber today. We extend the privileges of the floor and hope you enjoy our proceedings. Thank you for being with us. Mr. Tobias. Yes, Madam Speaker, uh, I too uh, have a, a very important uh, introduction or an introduction I know you already greeted this individual because uh, she is from the Bronx. Madam Speaker, we're joined uh, this afternoon by uh, our colleague Michael Benjamin's wife, uh, Kennedy Williams Benjamin. Uh, my understanding is uh, Ms. Benjamin is a, a playwright and an author and uh, someone who I'm sure the people of Bronx are very proud of. So Madam Speaker, on behalf of all the members, if you could greet uh, uh, Mr. Benjamin's wife. I'd be happy to. <laughs> On behalf of Mr. Benjamin first, <laughs> Mr. Tokaz, Ms. the Speaker, and all the members, we want to welcome you, Kennedy, to the chamber today. We extend the privileges of the House and hope you enjoy our proceedings. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> Let's go to the A calendar and let's start with the resolutions on page three. Clerk will read. Assembly 2198, Mr. DiNapoli. Legislative resolution urging the Honorable Stephen L. Johnson, Administrator of the United States Environmental Protection Agency. On the resolution, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. Assembly 2199, Mr. Schiminger. Legislative resolution urging the President of the United States. On the resolution, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. Continue, page four. Assembly 271A, Rule 745, Mr. Canestrari. An act to amend the vehicle and traffic law. On a motion by Mr. Canestrari, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 30 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 119, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 278, Rule 746, Ms. Christensen, an act to amend the public authorities law. Read the last section. The bill is laid aside. Assembly 505, Rule 747, Mr. Kuhn, an act to amend the criminal procedure law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 120, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 1424, Rule 748, Mr. Dinowitz, an act to amend the civil service law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 90 days. Record the vote. Uh, Madam Speaker, as that indicated, this is going to be a lengthy consent. Uh, the members do need to remain in and around the chamber, and the quicker we cast our votes, the, the uh, more work we'll be able to complete. So for those that particularly are in the chamber, that would be helpful. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 121, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 1737, Rule 749, Ms. Eddington, an act to amend the labor law. On a motion by Ms. Eddington, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 30 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 2135A, Rule 750, Mr. Brodsky, an act to amend the business corporation law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 2685, Rule 751, Mr. Morelli, an act to amend the state law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Excuse me. I bet you read that. Are there any other votes? <laughs> Announce the results. Ayes 121, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 3034A, Rule 752, Mr. Pretlow, an act to amend the education law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on July 1, 2007. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 124, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 3209, Rule 753, Mr. Schiminger, an act to amend the state finance law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 127, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 3586, Rule 754, Mr. Gottfried, an act to amend the public health law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 3726, Rule 755, Mr. Granis, an act to amend the insurance law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 3730, Rule 756, Mr. Granis, an act to amend the insurance law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 125, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 3815, Rule 757, Mr. Perry, an act to amend the personal property law and the banking law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 3909, Rule 758, Mr. Peralta, an act to amend the environmental conservation law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 180 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 123, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 4012A, Rule 759, Mr. Espayat, an act to amend the general business law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 4084, Rule 760, Mr. Gianaris, an act to amend the judiciary law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 4104, Rule 761, Mr. Espayat an act to provide for the notification of impending emergencies. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote.
Are there, are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 127, noes 1. The bill is passed. Assembly 4123, Rule 762, Mr. Gottfried. An act to amend the real property actions and proceedings law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 4191, Rule 764, Mr. R. Diaz. An act to amend the social services law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 128, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 4575, Rule 765, Ms. Carraza, an act to amend the public service law. The bill is laid aside. Assembly 4611C, Rule 766, Ms. Paulin, an act to amend the executive law. The bill is laid aside. Assembly 5058A, Rule 767, Ms. Mayerson, an act to amend the criminal procedure law. On a motion by Ms. Mayerson, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on the 30th day. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 128, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 5571B, Rule 769, Mr. Cusick, an act to amend the insurance law. On a motion by Mr. Cusick, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 125, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 5785B, Rule 771, Mr. Aubertine, an act to amend the agriculture and markets law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on October 1, 2006. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 124, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 6222, Rule 772, Mr. Abadi, an act to amend the civil service law. On a motion by Mr. Abadi, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 126, no is 1. The bill is passed. Assembly 6247, Rule 773, Ms. Calhoun, an act to amend the state law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Eyes 123, nose 1. Again, I must remind you to lower your voices. Thank you. Mr. Tokay. Yes, Madam Speaker, uh, they did not move from the gallery and down here with their orange jerseys. This is actually in another class from the Ann McGinnis School. These are fourth graders. Uh, from Endicott, New York, and uh, they're from Ms. Lepardo's district, and they're also joined by their teacher, Jennifer Kincaid. So if we would, uh, and certainly parents, and uh, I'm sure other chaperones have joined these fourth grade students from the uh, Ann McGinnis School from Endicott, New York, if you would welcome them, Madam Speaker. I'd be happy to. On behalf of Ms. Lepardo, the Speaker, and all the members, we want to welcome these wonderful fourth graders to the chamber today. We extend the privileges of the floor and hope you enjoy our proceedings. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for your escorts accompanying you. <laughs> Assembly 6780, Rule 774, Ms. Lepardo, an act to amend the education law. On a motion by Ms. Lepardo, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on the 180th day. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 120, no zero. The bill is passed. <laughs> Assembly 6866, Rule 775, Mr. Espayat, an act directing the Department of State. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 6911C, Rule 776, Mr. Wright, an act to amend the public health law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 126, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 6971, Rule 777, Mr. Granis, an act to repeal paragraph six of subdivision B of section 26-408 of the Administrative Code of the City of New York. The bill is laid aside. Assembly 7374A, Rule 778, Ms. Scazafava, an act to amend the criminal procedure law. On a motion by Ms. Scazafava, the S Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 126, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 7525B, Rule 779, Ms. Carosa, an act to amend the civil service law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 90 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 124, noes 2. <coughs> the bill is passed. Assembly 7893D, Rule 780, Mr. DiNapoli, an act to amend the environmental conservation law. On a motion by Mr. DiNapoli, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 126, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 8003, Rule 781, Mr. Ortiz, an act to amend the New York State Urban Development Corporation Act. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 125, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 8122, Rule 782, Mr. Abade, an act to amend the public officer's law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Reco record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 121, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 8364A, Rule 783, Mr. Latimer, an act to amend the environmental conservation law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. <clears throat> Assembly 8384, Rule 784, Ms. John, an act to amend the state finance law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 8558B, Rule 785, Ms. Weinstein, an act to amend the general obligations law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on January 1. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 121, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 8659, Rule 786. Mr. Latimer, an act to amend the insurance law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 123, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 8664A, Rule 787, Mr. Canestrari, an act to amend the real property tax law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on January 1. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 123, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 8889, Rule 788. Mr. Townsend, an act to amend the public authorities law. On a motion by Mr. Townsend, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? <clears throat> Announce the results. Ayes 125, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 8907A, Rule 789, Mr. Engelbright, an act to amend the insurance law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 123, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 9063, Rule 790, Mr. McEnany. <clears throat> An act to amend Chapter 693 of the Laws of 1980. A home rule is at the desk. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? <laughs> Announce the results. I-77, nays, I-78, nays 53. The bill is passed. Assembly 9292A, Rule 791, Ms. Glick, an act to amend the executive law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on January 1. Hold on. On a motion by Ms. Glick, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Now read the last section. This act shall take effect on January 1. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 119, no zero. The bill is passed. 9306A, Rule 792, Mr. Magnarelli. An act to amend the penal law and the general business law. Bill is laid aside. Page 13. Assembly 9369, Rule 793, Mr. Wright. An act to amend the New York City Civil Court Act. 
The bill is laid aside. Assembly 9475A, Rule 794, Ms. Del Monte, an act to amend the general business law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 90 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the, re Announce the results. Ayes 119, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 9615, Rule 795, Ms. Sayward, an act to amend the criminal procedure law. On a motion by Ms. Sayward, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 119, noes 1. The bill is passed. <laughs> Assembly 9672, Rule 796, Mr. Esfayat, an act to amend the penal law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 9703A, Rule 797, Mr. Parment, an act to amend the tax law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on March 1st, 2006. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 118, noes 2. The bill is passed. Assembly 9706B, Rule 798, Mr. Abate, an act to amend the public officer's law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 119, nose 1. The bill is passed. Page 14. Assembly 9709, Rule 799, Mr. Cahill, an act to amend the highway law. On a motion by Mr. Cahill, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 30 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ice 120, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 9735A, rules 800, Ms. Paulin. An act to amend the executive law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on April 1, 2007. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 9824A, Rules 801, Mr. Lopez. An act to amend Chapter 84, the laws of 1993. On a motion by Mr. Lopez, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 9838A, rules 802, Mr. Magnarelli. An act to amend the social services law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 9860, rules 803, Mr. Lopez. An act to amend chapter 777 of the laws of 1986. On a motion by Mr. Lopez, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 124, ayes 125, no zero. The bill is passed. Mr. Chokas. Yes, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, it's not an optical illusion. They don't keep moving around on us, but we're joined again, uh, Madam Speaker, by students from the Angie McGinnis School from Ms. Lepardo's district. Uh, I think they just keep switching orange T-shirts, but uh, may not be the case, Madam Speaker. Uh, we think it's very quiet in Endicott today because most of the students are here. But on behalf of Ms. Lepardo and uh, all the members, Madam Speaker, if you'd uh, greet these students, teachers and parents and uh, chaperones from the, uh, uh, the Ann McGinnis School in Endicott. On behalf of Ms. Lopato, Mr. Tokas, the speaker, and all the members, we want to welcome this wonderful group of young people from Endicott we, to the chamber today. We extend the privileges of the floor and hope you enjoy our proceedings. Thank you for being with us. Assembly 9873, Rules 804, Ms. Rabbit, an act to authorize approval of certain transportation contracts. On a motion by Ms. Rabbit, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? <laughs> Announce the results. Ayes 120, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 9907A, Rules 805, Ms. Paulin, an act to amend the criminal procedure law. <laughs> the bill is put off till Monday. Assembly 9957, Rules 806, Mr. Ortiz, Concurrent resolution of the Senate and Assembly proposing an amendment to Section 6 of Article 5 of the Constitution. On a motion by Mr. Ortiz, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 10003, Rules 807, Ms. Millman. An act in relation to allowing Gustin L. Reichback to obtain service credit. Kathy? Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Right. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? <clears throat> Announce the results. Ayes 120, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 10052A, Rules 808, Mr. Miller, an act to authorize the town of Wappinger. On a motion by Mr. Miller, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. There's a home rule message at the desk. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the result. Ayes 114, noes 8. The bill is passed. <laughs> Assembly 10113A, Rules 809, Ms. Del Monte, an act to amend the environmental conservation law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 120 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 120, no zero. The bill is passed. Page 16. Assembly 10132, Rules 810, Mr. Bing. An act to amend the alcoholic beverage control law. Read the last section. This act. The bill is laid aside. Assembly 10164A, Rules 811, Mr. Engelbright an act to amend the environmental conservation law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there, are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, <coughs> no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 10184, rules 812, Mr. Abate, an act to amend the civil service law. On a motion by Mr. Abate, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. 
Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 119, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 10,200, Rules 813, Mr. DiNapoli. Concurrent resolution of the Senate and Assembly proposing an amendment to Section 26 of Article 6 of the Constitution. On a motion by Mr. DiNapoli, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 123, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 10216A, Rules 814, Mr. Arrigo. An act to legalize, validate, ratify, and confirm certain actions taken by the town of Livonia. On a motion by Mr. Arrigo, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. There's a home rule message at the desk. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 119, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 10246, Rules 815, Mr. Lavelle. An act to amend the navigation law. On a motion by Mr. Lavelle, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. Mr. Tokas. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, no more classes that I'm aware of, but, but we are not done. Madam Speaker, uh, on the debate list, there are several bills. We're going to go to uh, several bills that are coming off either high or amended, and we will consent those bills. We've uh, consulted with the minority. We think this will go rather quickly, so we'll clean up some bills on the debate list uh, uh, at this moment, Madam Speaker. Page 16, Rules Report 705. Clerk will read. I'm sorry. Page 16 the of the main calendar, Rules Report 705. Assembly 10242B, Rule 705, Mr. McGee. An act to amend the agriculture and markets law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 124, no zero. The bill is passed. Rules Report 713 on the same page. Assembly 10591, Rule 713, Ms. Paulin. An act to amend the vehicle and traffic law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 180 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 119, no zero. The bill is passed. Page 28, calendar number 279. Clerk will read. Assembly 7100B, calendar 279, Mr. Towns, an act to amend the banking law. Read the last section. I'm sorry. On a motion by Mr. Towns, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. <coughs> now read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. Yes. Same page, calendar 280. Assembly 7279D, calendar 280, Mr. DiNapoli. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 125, no zero. The bill is passed. Page 30, calendar 280. No, wait a minute. No. Calendar 360, I'm sorry. Page 30, Assembly 9234A, Calendar 360, Mr. Morelli, an act to amend the education law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on July 1. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, no zero. The bill is passed. Page 38, calendar 571. Clerk will read. Assembly 11199B, calendar 571, Mr. Granis, an act to amend the insurance law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Mr. Benjamin, do you want to explain your vote? Okay. Okay. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 123, noes 1. The bill is passed. Uh, Madam Speaker, we'll go back to the A calendar uh, on Rules Report 816, Madam Speaker. Continuing consent. Great. 
Calendar 86A, page 17, Assembly 10250, Rules 816, Ms. Destito. An act to amend the real property tax law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 126, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 264A, Rules 817, Mr. Aubertine. An act to amend the criminal procedure law. On a motion by Mr. Aubertine, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 130, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 10363A, Rules 818, Mr. Rea, an act to amend Chapter 672 of the Laws of 1993. On a motion by Mr. Rea, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 125, nay zero. Bill is passed. Assembly 10,418, rules 819, Mr. Lentall. An act to amend the banking law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 180 days. Record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 126, no zero. The bill is passed. No. Assembly 10433, rules 820, Mr. Lopez. An act to amend Chapter 449 of the Laws of 1986. On a motion by Mr. Lopez, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ice 124, no zero. The bill is passed. Assembly 10446B, rules 821, Mr. Zabrowski, an act to amend the insurance law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect in 120 days. Record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. I 124, no zero. The bill is passed. Madam Speaker, do you have any resolutions or housekeeping? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> on a motion by Ms. Titus, on the main calendar, page 17, rules report 741. Bill number 11574, the amendments are received and adopted. We have numerous resolutions. All, we'll take up at one time. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, no. The resolutions are adopted. Madam Speaker, I now move the assembly stand adjourned until tomorrow, when, excuse me, Friday, June 16th. At 10 a.m. tomorrow being a legislative day, we reconvene on Monday at 2 p.m., that being a session. The House stands adjourned. Mr. Aubrey. Okay. Mr. Aubrey. Madam Speaker, I'm just one minute um, before we leave. I thought it might be appropriate for us to say Happy Father's Day to everyone before you go. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers and the substitute fathers. <laughs> The House stands adjourned. <laughs>